Bonjour, mon amigos. Well, we have a lot of reports on the G20 today. Doc has a great report. Other people have great reports. A variety of video. Um, I want you to take a look at some of these reports in the documentation because I feel it's very important to understand it's not about Obama. Again, on the news all day, every station was the word Obama or the face of President Obama or Michelle Obama, but that's not where the basis of it is. Uh, one thing about this is regarding the G20 is a lot of people are called anarchists or conspiracy theorists. And when you're talking about a conspiracy theory, I don't think that's such a bad thing, a theory. Einstein had a theory of relativity. Uh, we have the theory of plate tectonics. We have the theory of black holes. In fact, our children at school are taught almost particularly about theory. And the things that we're taught to believe are based on a lot of theory. So we are coming up with a theory and then it's called a hypothesis in the scientific method. A theory or hypothesis is then investigated to discern the facts. Then a summary or conclusion is made to support that hypothesis or theory. That's what we're doing. We're investigating the facts to support the theory. So a conspiracy theorist is not a bad thing, but only a scientist investigating the facts of the world. Now the other thing is I'm wearing my Easter shirt, because amidst April 15th, we may forget that Easter is coming. And this is a shirt we made last year, and if you want an awesome Easter shirt like this, it's a recycling item. Take an ugly white shirt, pour your uh, Easter coloring on it from your children or grandchildren, and then you get these awesome Easter shirts. We really like them. I'm wearing my apron as a reminder of April 15th is coming. Now on April 15th I was advised by a friend of mine from another country on YouTube I had asked for his advice, and one thing they're looking for is young male radicals, they call, or anarchists, or whatever they call them. My son will be at home, so I am calling for you grandmas and grandpas, moms and dads, I'll be wearing my apron, my badge from the registrar of voters, my badge from the school district, as an ordinary responsible citizen, and my son will be at home. I'm advising you grandpas and grandmas and moms and dads to stand up and go to those April 15th because I want my son to be safe right now and our people are pretty big around here. They're very tall and large and intimidating and so I'm hoping that by my innocuous presence they will not be threatened. Also the last thing I have to say is I lost a piece of paper today and one of the people came on, Antime came on talking about uh, the control that we are under. We are under control. I lost that piece of paper. It was something like this with an envelope and so forth. And I was crying over it and then I stopped and I prayed and I realized they do have control. That one piece of paper could destroy my life or your life. That's not right. Let us see you April 15th. Blessings.